So now that we've got some of the details painted, let's go ahead and start putting the interior together. Um, I already put the headlights. They need to be glued onto the front, uh, onto the front panel here. Um, I used the original vintage headlights. I just wanted to keep this as vintage as possible. Yeah, I have newer ones, but you know, I kind of like the look of the vintage. They're kind of yellow, just a teeny tiny bit. You know, just gives it a nice vintage look. I already put the uh, the amber lights in there as well. They needed to be uh, held by these little plastic um, tabs here that needed to be glued on as well. So. So we're ready to put this together. I also screwed on this front brace. That's what's going to be screwed onto the front. So we'll get to that in a second here. So let's start with putting the windshield on first. This is about the only thing that is not original vintage on this truck is this windshield. But so they they slide into these little tabs here on the top. So we're gonna slide those in. I had to scrounge around for, and then this one here goes in place as well. Okay, so I went ahead and squeezed this little plastic thing in a little bit more for the glass to slide in. And I already put in the two millimeter screws here with the washers to hold the glass in place. So the next thing we want to do is the front grill goes into place as such. goes from the front and so we're going to line up the little tabs here and they're going to be held in by these three millimeter screws I'm not tightening them all the way down yet because there's two screws that go here on each of the sides. And I want to make sure that, that those line up. That's that side. And there's the other side. Okay, and so there's a nut that goes on the other side here that'll hold these down. And you don't want to over tighten these. I mean, especially with the body as old as this is, it's brittle. If you tighten them too tight, it'll tend to crack the plastic. Okay, take a look at the front. Everything lines up, so now we can tighten these two screws here. Okay, so there's the front grill for you. Let's see, we have painted the interior, painted the seats uh, brown, the floor black, steering wheel black with chrome silver, and then I painted the front 
Um, the dashboard here, the same color as the body. So let's get some screws and do this next. Before we get to that, uh, let's take care of the mirror. I'm using the vintage mirror here, not the newer one. Again, probably doesn't look as nice as the newer one, but I want to try to keep this as original as possible. These mirrors, you know, before the re releases came out, these mirrors were so hard to find because they would constantly, they would just break off so easy. And uh, they were not that cheap. <laughs> um, someone came along and started doing some aluminum ones and that was pretty cool. But if you wanted a true vintage plastic one, an original one, boy, they used to be hard to find. Not so much anymore, the re-releases, but... Okay, so there we go. Now I've got the side mirror on. All right, let's talk about the interior next. Okay, I had to put this on my lap in order to get the screw in, um, in order to line it up, so... So that's what I did, is basically lined it up and put that screw in. So now this back piece is in place. And then we can put the body, I mean the, the cab in now. this point okay so there's one of them let's get the other one in now So before we tighten these two bolts, we have to have these two screws coming in here as well. These should be six, but I don't have six millimeter Allen heads, so I'm using eight. Not that it's gonna matter because you're not gonna see it, but. So now that we got all the nuts and bolts in place, let's go ahead and tighten those guys down before we forget and then we'll tighten up all the all the nuts and bolts here. So 
so now we've got those tightened up in the front. So there we go. We got our body now nicely put together. A little bit of a struggle due to my mistake and getting the things in the right order, but okay. So at this point, we're ready to look at mounting it. Um, to the uh, to the chassis, so let's see about doing that next. Okay, so before we put the body on, we need to do a little bit of maintenance here. So first of all, this is the rear body posts. They have to go. That has to go here in the back and there's a little notch that this fits in and there are self-tapping screws that go in to that so So that's the rear that's the rear body posts here now we need the front body post and that's this guy that's this guy here two six millimeter screws. They're threaded, the, 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 the frame is threaded for these, so you don't need a bolt or a nut, I should say. Okay, that takes care of that. And then, while we're at it here, we should put the front bumper in place. So what happened is that those bolts weren't long enough. So when we unscrewed them, that nut came off with it. So we're gonna need longer bolts here. Okay, I'm going to have to tip this over. I'm going to put this on my lap and get these nuts back on there. Kind of sucks that I needed to take the whole thing off. Um, so let me do that and we'll come back. Okay, while this was on my lap, it was just easier to tighten up the screws for the bumper. So there's, on the front bumper, there's on the sides, on each side here, you have to loosen up this screw right there. You got to loosen up that screw in order to slide on each side in order to slide the bumper um, in place there. Then there's a screw, there's two screws in front here that tighten the bumper um, mounts to the chassis. And there's two screws on the bottom 
10 millimeter screws on the bottom. These are six millimeters in length. These are uh, gonna be around 10. So those are the last two screws that we need to put in and tighten up. Okay, so now that we got the front bumper in place, let's do the, put the rear bumper here. Rear bumps are a heck of a lot easier. You have these two extensions that come out from the chassis. And the, the rear bumper just gets screwed into place by two screws. These are around 10 millimeters in length. Okay, so now we got the rear bumper in. Now, we're ready to mount the body. So let's do that next. All right, so let's, uh, let's put the body on this thing now. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, <laughs> maybe some of you did, and uh, an earlier clip when I put these uh, Nerf bars on. Um, I put this Nerf bar on this side on backwards, <laughs> um, inside out. So off camera, I went ahead and, uh, and fixed that. Um, again, my videos are made so you can learn from my mistakes. I don't mind making them. So let's see how this fits. Fits like a glove, look at that, perfect. Um, two body posts, so there's a clip that goes in the front, there's a clip that goes on the back, two of them that go on the back to hold the body in place. Um, but there you go. Um, it started off needing a lot of work, um, needing a lot of body, uh, needing paint stripped. Um, we got it repainted. Uh, we got it all put back together. Um, fortunately, I had a lot of spare parts to be able to put this back together. It's been sitting around for a while. So the only thing that I have left to do is basically just kind of uh, glue on the little license plates, um, you know, on the front and back. Um, and the last detail is the tailgate. So the tailgate, um, I didn't want to paint this white um, because I didn't want it to come out all looking hokey um, with the paint. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to, I have an Alps printer and an Alps printer um, allows me to print decals, um, but it allows me to print in white. Um, so I could print a white decal using that printer, um, but I'm gonna opt instead to, I have also a vinyl cutter. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, have the stencil made out of vinyl and then I'll just, um, um, it'll be a vinyl sticker instead of a decal that'll go on there. Um, I'll probably make a separate video out of that, um, primarily because, first of all, I have to find the right font, and then chances are, I'm sure that it's not going to be perfect, so I'm going to have to um, edit and manipulate the font in order to get it um, to look exactly like these letters here. So that might be a little bit of work in itself, but once I have that font, and that printout perfect, I can always, you know, save it and, um, and, and, and do it a few more times later on for some of the other builds that I, other, other bruisers that I've got waiting to be built. Anyways, the bottom line is that's, that's what's left to do is just that, but I'll just make that in a different video. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to wrap up this series that I have here um, with the final product. Uh, being as you see it there so I hope uh, I hope you learned from my mistakes um, like I said that's the whole point of a lot of my videos I make mistakes along the way and well, hopefully it helps you in your builds and hey 
just remember, you know, have fun in life. Uh, you only live once. Enjoy it.